The VH we've seen NCP workers also, in fact, protest right outside the ED office. Do get us up to speed with the situation vis-a-vis -vis the law and order uh, right there. Well, the protest right now is going on near the ED office, near the office of NCP as well as the ED office is located very close to the NCP central office in Mumbai. Uh, NCP workers had gathered here in huge numbers, but police has somehow managed to maintain the law and order situation. They have barricaded the road. Let me show you some visuals of the NCP workers protesting right now. They have they are still gathered near the ED office and uh, they are protesting over here. You can see the NCP flag being waved by the protesting NCP workers over here. There's a barricade that has been put up by police officials and this complete road has been shut for movement, citing law and order issues after the arrest of Nawab Malik. Nawab Malik, remember, was picked up by ED officials who reached his residence at 5 a.m. in the morning. He was, uh, his house was searched, after which he was questioned primarily at his residence. He was given a notice and asked to accompany ED officials, after which he was brought to the ED office at around 7.45 a.m. Reaching here around 8 a.m., his questioning began. His statement was being recorded. By post noon, we came to know from our sources that Nawab Malik wasn't cooperating in the probe. He wasn't cooperating with the questioning that was going on. and following which ED officials placed him under arrest. Now, he has been taken to the PMLA court where he'll be produced and ED officials will be seeking his custody from the PMLA court. It will uh, depend on the arguments from both the sides uh, and the court will further decide on how many days of custody be granted to uh, ED for Nawab Malik and po post that if at all the custody is granted, Nawab Malik will remain in ED custody uh, and he'll be interrogated again. His statement will again be recorded by ED officials. Remember, the case pertains to the uh, primary case pertains to Daud Ibrahim and his gang, which has created a specific group to create uh, to carry out terror activities in Mumbai and other areas across the country. They are uh, they are trying to disrupt law and order situation in the country. They are in touch with uh, uh, Pakistani intelligence agencies and terrorist outfits operating from Pakistan. Following which a uh, FIR was registered by the NIA and Following that, an ECIR was registered by the Enforcement Directorate. Enforcement Directorate already had an ECIR against Iqbal Kraskar, brother of Daud Ibrahim, Anis Ibrahim Chota Shakil, uh, registered in 2018 following an extortion case against Iqbal Kraskar. These two cases were then merged. Divesh, we'll talk to you about that a in a bit from now.